Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us in this critical update on the escalating conflict between the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, ENDF, and Amhara Fano forces in various regions of the Amhara region. The situation is highly fluid and evolving rapidly, and we have received the latest reports from multiple sources detailing the ongoing intense fighting. In this video, we will provide you with a comprehensive overview of the current developments. Firstly, in the Tabase area of Debra Birhan city, located in northern Shua, reports indicate that there is a fierce battle underway between the ENDF and Amhara Fano forces. The latest information suggests that the ENDF has suffered heavy losses in this confrontation. The situation in this region remains tense, and we are closely monitoring the events as they unfold. Moving on to the areas of Weibela, Gonda Bia, Gubo and Chinfaz in Woldia City, situated in northern Wello, intense fighting occurred overnight. Both the ENDF and Amhara Fano forces reportedly suffered significant casualties in these clashes. The gravity of the situation is underscored by the scale of the losses on both sides, indicating the severity of the conflict in this region. In Rasa, located in northern Shiwa, reports indicate that intense fighting has persisted for a second consecutive day. As a result, all roads and businesses in the area have been closed, further highlighting the severity of the situation and the impact on the local community. In Kulamesk, situated in northern Wello, it has been reported that Fano forces have successfully taken control of the town, prompting ENDF soldiers to leave for deployment to another area. This shift in control signifies a dynamic and volatile situation on the ground, with the balance of power shifting in different regions. In Zeha, Debre Taba, situated in southern Gonda, Fano forces reportedly carried out an ambush on four ENDF convoy convoys, resulting in numerous soldiers being injured and several ENDF military trucks being destroyed. This strategic move by the Fano forces suggests a tactical advantage in this specific area and adds to the complexity of the overall conflict. In the Zinjarogedel area of Samada, situated in southern Gonda, reports indicate that Fano forces executed a successful ambush on two military trucks carrying special forces. The outcome was devastating, with several soldiers reported killed and wounded. This incident highlights the strategic maneuvers being employed by Fano forces in their engagement with the ENDF. Shifting our focus to Gurj, Bilbala, located in northern Wello, we have received reports of several ENDF military convoys being destroyed. The scale of destruction underscores the intensity of the clashes in this region, with both sides experiencing significant losses. In Kabay and Borobor areas of Wegdi, situated in western Wello, the ENDF has reportedly shelled the region with artillery, resulting in the destruction of farms and homes belonging to Amhara civilians. The impact on the civilian population is a tragic consequence of the escalating conflict, further emphasizing the humanitarian toll of the hostilities. Adding to the complexity of the situation, Amhara Fano forces claim to have captured hundreds of ENDF soldiers in recent fighting, along with substantial war equipment. Fano has shared pictures of captured soldiers and weapons, and we have received a short video showcasing the captured NDF soldiers. Let's watch this footage to gain insights into the evolving dynamics of the conflict. Then we talk further. <laughs> A tragic incident unfolded in the Horo Guduru zone of Ethiopia's Oromia region, specifically in the Volega area, 
where at least eight individuals lost their lives. The incident occurred at approximately 1.30 a.m. on Monday in the Kombolcha district, Bero Kabele, as reported by Wazama Radio. The victims were members of the Mulu Wongal Protestant Church in Bero Kabele, and the unfortunate event transpired while they were engaged in harvesting maize on a farm adjacent to the church premises. Furthermore, an unspecified number of individuals sustained injuries during what has been described as a drone attack, and property belonging to the church was set ablaze in the aftermath. Wazama Radio's sources indicated that drones had been surveilling various localities in the Kombolcha district for a week leading up to the strike. In a recent interview commemorating the 88th anniversary of the Ethiopian Air Force, Defence Chief of Staff Field, Marshal Berhanu Dula, confirmed the utilisation of drone strikes. He stated, Drones were bought to be used. We didn't acquire them solely for the sake of having them. Additionally, he emphasised that the armed forces would persist in employing drone technology. The Oromo Liberation Army, characterised as a radical ethnic nationalist group, maintains a significant presence in the area. Peace negotiations between the group and Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed in Tanzania in November proved unsuccessful, with both parties trading accusations regarding the breakdown of the talks. The group has been in conflict with Abiy Ahmed's administration for the past five years, initially operating from Eritrea before gaining entry into Ethiopia in 2018. The group has also been linked to the massacre of tens of thousands of ethnic Amhara civilians in the region over the past five years. Reports of numerous drone strikes have emerged in Ethiopia's Amhara region, particularly in connection to the ongoing conflict between Fano forces and the Defence Force. While some estimates suggest over 100 drone attacks in the Amhara region, the Defence Chief refutes such claims, stating during an interview with state media, I don't believe we've used drones that much. Regrettably, many victims of these drone attacks in the Amhara region are reported to be civilians. Human rights organizations, including the United Nations Human Rights Agency, both within the country and internationally, have confirmed civilian casualties in relation to drone strikes in the Amhara region. It's noteworthy that, as of now, the Ethiopian government has not issued any official statements regarding the drone strikes in the Volega area. The situation remains complex, and we will continue to monitor and provide updates on this developing story.